going over the opening points for your course. These points were chosen because they are incredibly powerful points and they're also non-invasive points. They are really great, especially if a horse is really incredibly sensitive, if they've never had any light therapy work done, or if they maybe have just gone through a really bad accident or sustained an injury and they're really in sympathetic mode, which means that they're in flight mode. Uh, they help to open up the energy and get energy movement through the spine and also in the sacroiliac joint and that lower back area. So these are really, really, um, we encourage you to use them after you do any pain assessments and before you start any other treatments. Now we're going to talk about doing the opening points themselves. So what I like to start with is the ones that are on the back, and that's GV14 and Bach Way. Doing these two points together is really good on getting the horse used to putting the lights on them. So I'll put the standard light or the multi-light on red. I got the Pro Gen 2 on red, and I will find them. GV14 is on the center governing vessel line. The easiest way to find it is take your hand and run it down the main until you find a deep hole. This is located between thoracic vertebra number one and two. Uh, you can't feel one, it just creates a hole here. And you're gonna put your light on that point. Bach way. And you can actually, if, you, if the camera's picking it up, you can actually see a hole here. If you run your fingers down the center of the horse, you're going to feel the last vertebra of the lumbar vertebra. Then you're going to move forward until you feel the first, I like to use my fingernails, I move forward until I hit the sacral. It's two thirds the way behind in that hole. So you're going to feel this deep depression of a hole between the lumbar and the sacral vertebra and you just put your light into that spot and I will find GB14, and then I will find Bach Way, and we're going to leave it here for a good 30 seconds to 45 seconds. What I'm looking for is for the horse to react a little bit, not as a reaction, but as a calming, where they, maybe they may blink a lot, or they might go into a little bit of a meditation stage, and then they'll come out, and when they're out, then I know they're good. But I'm looking for a sign if possible. And if you get to 30 to 45 seconds and nothing's happened, you can move on. And again, you always have the option of doing this one light at a time. So I would put on GV14, and then just put my hand on Bach way. And then I would move from here to this spot. Next, we're gonna to move to the front of the horse. And because we're gonna be on one side, I'm just gonna use one light, and I like to hold the halter lightly. I'm gonna start with GV26. GV26, in a little bit of a sensitive area, again, on the center line of the horse's head. Um, you're gonna feel right between the nostrils, lower part of the nostrils, there's a, there's a deep hole right here. It actually, if you push this inside of the lip, it'd be right on the upper part of the gum. But because the light goes through to it, the, it will hit this point. So we're gonna go down the front of the nose and I'm gonna put this on first. And they might react a little bit, but they'll get used to it and you can just hold the light there. Then we're going to move up to Yin Tang. Finding yin tang is pretty simple. It's in the center line of the forehead. Sometimes there's a swirl here, hers is a little lower. I always take right across the top of the orbital rim of the eye or right above the eyebrow type thing and right to the center. And then that is yin tang and it's a direct contact to the pineal gland. And I'm gonna bring it up between the eyebrows and just move with the horse as they move around. And if your horse is really, really excitable, we could take and put green, which will help put them back into parasympathetic mode and use green on this point. And then the last point we're going to do 
your stomach too. Stomach two. It's actually pretty easy to find and it's a great point for all kinds of stomach issues. So if you bring the horse's head down, you're going to see this main blood vein which breaks off to a Y, one going on the inside of the eye, one going almost to the canthus of the eye. Right at where it intersects each other is stomach two. We're going to put it on the left side and then we're going to move and put it on the right side as well. We'll move over to the right side of the horse and put it on the right side. So these introductory points or opening points are very good to get your horse set up so that way you can move on to your other parts and be safe. It also is very kind to the horse and helps them to be part of what you're doing and be part of the whole therapy.